I'm trying to study the depiction of a, a gentleman here I see. It is a, uh, it's some kind of, I'm trying to learn how to interpret these geographical, spiritual, uh, architectural apparitions. This one's interesting. It looks like there's a guy, I think it's good, but I'm not sure if it's a, I'm going to show you right here. This was a, first of all, you see a gun right there. See that gun? And then some guy's head here. See that head? And there's an eye and an eye and some kind of hat and a head here, okay? That's then. So you can see his legs. He's like here. Here's his legs. And he's got something underneath his, like a pouch or something he's carrying. But here's his arm even, okay? So I hope you can see that, okay? Then, uh, see, then you got somebody. He's got it, the gun, see, here into this person here. There's a, it's like they're, there's a, uh, they're wearing like a hoodie or something here. And they're cocked, and here's their legs. They're cocked back. See, like they're leaning back the arm this way. Okay. And so there's their face right in there. So I'm not sure, you know, if I can pull back a little bit. See, if you, you pull back, see the guy, the guy comes out clear here. See, right here. There's his head. See the nose, the, the nose, and the eye, and the nose right in there. And you can see his arm coming around here, and he's got that thing still in his legs like he's walking. Okay. Now, that the other person here is it's hard to see when you pull back. That's why there's depth here. There's their body. They're, they're, they're cocking back. And let's see, you pull back a little bit. This makes a difference. But see, you can clearly, now that it gets really sharp with the person there. Now this this guy, this, this person here at the legs, that one there is clear as a bell. I'm not sure what it means. I mean, is it related to, uh, you know, so I'm going to zoom in here. You know, like I said, it's depth and perception. Can we see anything else? Uh, I don't know. But it, it looks like they're pushing them back with the gun, which is weird. Um, I just don't know what it means. And I can't tell that, you know, I'm talking about this one being pushed back with a gun. But I don't, I don't know who this this face, I mean, the stuff here, right? I don't, this, this person that's leaning back. Um, you know, at first I thought it'd be the lady with the hair, but I'm not so sure. It could be. It's like, here's the, her hair. There's a head, and she's like this. But, uh, let's see if we can get a better... He moving around, because I'm trying to... It helps me with my screen. Uh, but... And the, the moment it looks like a, just a guy wearing a hoodie, I believe, versus a lady with hair. But I don't know. I thought I saw something else in there. I'm moving over here because my screen, I know it, you like, quit moving around. Um, pull, it gets blurry there. Let's see there. You know, anyway. There's a lot of stuff here in Death Valley, and I, don't, I can't make sense. So I saw some really unusual things as well um but anyway that's another mystery of this world this one right off the bat i show you this this is like a ghost floating in <laughs> the valley here it's body laying there and there's a head there it's kind of turned towards you and what else you got there's something in here there's a head apparition there um oh there's a face there even right there's a head there and uh so I guess there's a lot of death here in Death Valley. This is actually on the edge. It's still, I think this, well, the, I don't know if it's coming down to the valley, but this is a big valley in here. And uh, but anyway, let's see here. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff. All right. All right, take care and love you all.